provides high bandwidth for users based on a series of key technologies. These key technologies help improve the bandwidth performance and stability for GPON. This animation introduces the principles of the key GPON technologies, including ranging, burst optical, and electric technology, continuous mode ONU detection, and upon energy saving. Ranging. From the perspective of OLT, the logical distance from each ONU to the OLT is different. In addition, the loop delay between the OLT and ONUs varies by time and environment. Therefore, a conflict occurs when the ONUs send upstream sounds in TDMA mode. That is, when only one of the ONUs under a pawn port of the OLT sends data. For example, three vehicles head for the same destination. Their distances from the destination are different, but the dispatching station requires that they depart at the same time and travel. To prevent collision between upstream data transmitted by ONUs through the optical fiber, the OLT must precisely measure the distance between each ONU and the OLT, so as to control the time when each ONU sends the upstream data. In other words, before the three vehicles depart, the dispatching station detects the length and condition of each way and adjusts the departure time of each vehicle based on a series of calculation. Burst Optical and Electric Technology The Burst Optical and Electric Technology is supplementary to the ranging technology. The service lives of vehicles are different. Therefore, the startup time required for each vehicle is different. The ranging technology detects only the road condition but does not detect the vehicle condition. The departure time determined with the ranging technology does not incorporate the startup time of the vehicles. If the vehicles fail to start within the scheduled time, collision may still occur when the upstream data converges on the optical fiber. The burst optical and electric technology is adopted to address this problem. It improves the vehicle performance and enables the vehicles to immediately depart based on the scheduled time. Continuous mode ONU detection. Steele used example with three vehicles to illustrate the principle of continuous mode ONU detection. GPON complies with a P2MP topology. Upstream data is sent in TDMA mode. ONUs must send upstream data based on the timestamps allocated by the OLT to ensure that upstream data is transmitted to the OLT sequentially without conflicts. ONUs that do not send upstream optical signals based on the allocated timestamps are called continuous mode ONUs. The OLT enables one-time manual detection, diagnosis, and isolation for continuous mode ONUs. When the main station detects vehicles only from one station, the main station identifies the station and further closes the station. Upon energy saving, with energy saving technology, the OLT periodically disables the optical modules of the ONUs in the idle hours to achieve energy saving for GPON lines. If the number of vehicles departing from the station within a period of time is less than the number specified by the dispatching station, which is the condition for entering the energy saving mode, the main station requires that the station be periodically closed for energy saving. For example, the station is open every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and is closed in the rest of the days of the week. At present, two energy saving modes are available, that is, the dose mode and the guard mode. In dose mode, the station can still receive vehicles coming from the main station. In guard mode, the station does not receive vehicles coming from the main station. When the station is closed, if the number of vehicles waiting to depart within the period of time exceeds the number specified by the dispatching station, or a large number of vehicles suddenly need to depart in a short time, which is the condition for exceeding the energy saving mode, the station automatically enters the continuous open state. When the station is closed, if a vehicle needs to depart from the station, the station sends a request to the main station, and the main station opens the station as required. When the station is in periodic closure, for example on Tuesday, if the main station attempts to check the station, 
the station must be immediately open if it is in dose mode. If the station is in guard mode, it can be checked only when it is open on Wednesday. This is all about this animation. Hopefully, you've got a better understanding of the key G-Pond technologies.